Destroy Lonely might be finished. As sad as I am to say this, or maybe not considering the allegations that he's gotten and the way he acted after he was accused. Because as you probably already know, this past Friday, he was supposed to drop his album, Love Lasts Forever. He's been previewing music for the longest time and then eventually tweeted saying that he never meant to lie to the fans about the release date because allegedly it was supposed to drop in April, at least according to Lil88. But then he said that it was for sure dropping this month before he went off and performed at Summer Smash. And that meant he was dropping in June. However, we have surpassed the last Friday that major label artists typically drop on and so therefore we only got like one or two days left in june and just logically we know that he's not dropping this month in fact i don't think he's dropping anytime soon and that's why i feel like he might be finished because even ken carson is supposed to drop his deluxe album or another album in itself maybe just the second in the series more chaos on july 5th which is next friday and so maybe ken carson will steal the shine from destroy lonely and maybe distract fans from the accusations that he's gotten to save opium or at least its label mates now you might be saying every single one of opium signees except for one i think michi has allegations of their own whether it be domestic abuse or playing with toys let's just say even playboy cardi himself has been arrested for said charges and has that really affected any of their careers thus far not really in fact it's probably improved their numbers just because the opium fans love that they're bad people they're narcissists but for some reason destroy lonely doesn't get the pass and here's why i think that is because during the rollout and the anticipation and the hype of the album love lasts forever destroy lonely has been previewing and his producer little 88 a lot of snippets like 40 almost some with quavo some with don tolliver i'm not even sure because i'm not really sure people even care sure there are some snippets here and there that people mess with but that's just the diehards like the underground fan base i feel like has moved a little bit past the opium glory days where they literally will just dick ride anything that opium represents because there was no hope for playboy cardi to drop but now that he is ready or at least he's previewing music why else would we care about these people under him who kind of just sound like different versions of him also that underground era has already kind of passed their mainstream artists ken carson destroy lonely even homicide gang they're all signed to interscope whereas we have new kids on the block like net spend osama sun laser dim yapo JJ, etc., which are the new artists that the underground is following on a daily basis. And let's not forget the perception of If Lust Could Kill, that it was super boring, it was a snooze fest, people really didn't like that album because it was so slow and repetitive. And so to come back from that, you really need to come with some bangers or at least a lead single that makes some waves. And Destroy Lonely Drop Love For You. And while it was actually pretty decent, if you ask me, like it passed the car test, I wouldn't say it's anything spectacular like what If Looks Could Kill the single did for him on TikTok or No Stylist the single. And so when these allegations from his ex-girlfriend came, it was similar to the Lil Mosey accusations where he was already kind of on the decline. And so the allegations or accusations were just kind of the closing of the casket of their career. Now, I don't think Destroy Lonely is completely gone like he's still opium he's still associated with cardi and even ken carson who are likely the most relevant artists in the game at least for this like internet genre of rap but that like cult following he once had is just completely gone i really don't think people even care about him dropping anymore nor will he drop anytime soon because now again Ken Carson is about to drop, and then we got Cardi teasing new music, and likely Destroy Lonely's label is gonna have to do some PR control, distract people from these allegations, like they gotta finish out the case so that he wins, so that they can start promoting that, like, look, she lied even though she posted pictures with blood in her hands from her skull. And so I really do think that Destroy Lonely's career is finished, at least for the time being. Like, he doesn't have the same hype around him. Of course, he can get a hit song and get it right back. Practically any artist can get that, even if they fell off like 60 years ago. But for now, I feel like they just might put him on the shelf. Watch his label see the title of this video and then drop like three days later just to be spiteful but it's a fact his numbers really are not good right now like at one point he was neck and neck with ken carson when it came to monthly listeners on spotify and i know that these aren't exact numbers and i know that ken carson just dropped an album but technically speaking last year so did destroy lonely also i feel like lone just lacks a little bit of personality we're in now that we have osama sun and laser dim in the underground popping out in the scene doing little antics on instagram and tiktok we've kind of moved 
moved past the mysterious era of rap where people think it's corny. You actually have to be a real human being behind the camera. And frankly, now, considering Destroy Lonely doesn't have that much content or personality online, all that really is online is these allegations and court records. So it's just easier to take him and his career down. But I guess we'll find out within the next year. If he drops this album, I'd be surprised, at least within the next couple of months. He's got to let the news cycle die out a little bit. But even with the trap music, I feel like the underground really ain't messing with it. Although I do personally, just because it brings us back to to the roots of the OG OGs like Young Thug and Future. But kids want all the rage and distorted music that Osama Sun, Nespa, and Ken Carson making. And that's really just not Destroy Lonely's sound. His new music is more targeting the mainstream, if you ask me. But again, that doesn't help his case with the underground where they're turning on him for making boring music, aka the trap shit. Not to mention the terrible run that he's on with his last drops, where he was on a Quavo feature, that Southside song with also Ken Carson was terrible president and then people ain't messing with love for you even though i do but it's really not up to me i'm not the majority here it's just way different than what got him popular in the first place with no stylist but i guess that happens to every single artist it's like growing pains but y'all in the comments what you think about this is destroy lonely's career cooked at least for the time being do you think he's finished overall do you think he has it in him to win back the fans even after the allegations or maybe they just didn't care in the first place me boy bob lamb signing off make sure to like and subscribe to the bob gang if you with it peace out clap nice scene.